says, I've heard a lot about the tribal nature of the two parties at the Capitol, and, I'm, and that exists within Oklahoma's law, a lot of cutting heads. Um, is there anything a governor can do to encourage cooperation and compromise? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and in all honesty, I don't know how much of this Governor Fallon is doing, uh, but I can tell you what I would do. I would open the governor's home, invite members of both parties uh, to come uh, in a relaxed atmosphere uh, and talk to each other. You know, years ago, they had uh, something called the Cheese Room, uh, and it was at the trade winds on Lincoln Boulevard, and it was funded by lobbyists, but no individual lobbyists. They kind of pooled their money. And it was literally that. They had cheese and crackers. This was for after work, after the day of the session. Uh, cheese and crackers out on the table and beer in the, in the refrigerator. And you could stop by the cheese room and talk to each other. You know, what, what a, an amazing idea. <laughs> you know, an, an opportunity and a place uh, to actually visit with each other. Uh, and a, a lot of friendships were formed across party lines. Uh, you know, my first roommate uh, in the legislature, because we'd stay up there during the week, uh, was Bill Weisman, who was a Republican from here in Tulsa. He later switched parties. I hope I had something to do with that. <laughs> he became a Democrat. But uh, those kinds of friendships and associations were very important. And I think, you know, the, the caucus system is very important. It's a good mechanism for the Democrats to get together and talk about uh, what their policies ought to be and the Republicans to get together and talk about what their policies ought to be. But a caucus system that locks in its members to where they can't buck the caucus and vote their conscience on a bill, I think is an overplay of the caucus system. And I would encourage members to talk to each other, to develop coalitions across party lines for the common good, uh, and to vote their conscience rather than vote their caucus.